good morning, Johnny. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Kevin. Thank you. Pleasure to be on. It's been a while since we've talked. You've had an interesting program, Johnny. I'd like everyone to know that you're the founder of uh, FinancialLiteracyMusic.com, uh, uh, particularly of, of, of interest to educators, which is our audience here today. First, tell us about your background. So, uh, long story short, I, uh, I, I grew up poor. I uh, didn't have uh, much to speak of by way of financial resources growing up. And when I was around 19 or 20 or so, I uh, took an interest in uh, personal finance and financial literacy in general. And I just started reading everything I could on the subject and, and uh, eventually came sort of a, a go-to person uh, at that time. I was in the, serving in the military. And, you know, folks would always ask me about, you know, what stocks to invest in, what mutual funds to purchase, et cetera, uh, just because I had that reputation. I never really thought much of it beyond uh, sort of my own personal financial uh, management until I uh, uh, later in life went to graduate school. <clears throat> so I was a MBA, uh, graduating MBA student who uh, was offered a series of sort of volunteer courses from one of our professors who happened to be a certified financial planner. And so since it was a subject I'd been interested in, you know, for, you know, for a good bit of my life, I decided to go, and figure, figuring there was always something I could learn. And so I uh, went to these courses, and, and a, a, the very first course I, uh, was one of the, on one of the you know, five uh, pillars of investment planning, either investment planning, tax planning, retirement planning, insurance planning, or estate planning. I can't remember which one right now, but I remember everyone being there, sort of a standing room only crowd, right? And by the time you got to the fifth course, I mean, you could, you know, you could throw a rock to the place and not hit anyone. And so I thought, you know, the subject matter is awesome subject matter, right? We all need to know these things. Uh, but the way that professor pre presented it was just, it was just boring, got awful boring. It was more entertaining to watch paint dry than to hear him run alone about, you know, personal finance. So, so tell us about your thoughts thought. and how it works. So I thought, what if we could make these lessons lessons interesting and fun and spice it up. And so that's when the idea for financial literacy music hit me. So I'd always had this sort of talent for uh, uh, writing uh, hip-hop songs. And so I figured if I can put the entire lesson to the certified financial planning course to music, you know, investment planning, tax planning, insurance planning, retirement planning, estate planning, put all of those sort of lessons to music, then uh, the audience will stay engaged and actually learn something uh, so so they wouldn't be lost for lack of an engaging presentation. And that's, that's how financial literacy music came about. Why do you think your program is effective? Well, I think it's because it's interesting, right? So if you can make any subject matter interesting, so it's, it's not just financial literacy. Uh, yeah, it could be history or... Or, or what have you, whatever it is, if you can figure out how to make it interesting to the kids, they will stay engaged and learn on their own. So I think my program is effective because I make the subject matter interesting. And when you can make the subject matter interesting, uh, you know, the human brain takes it from there. And how do you do that, Johnny? How do you make the subject matter interesting? So, you know, we just, we blend it with popular uh, culture. We've got this music, and, you know, financialliteracymusic.com, you go in there and you listen to this music. This is literally contemporary hip-hop music. I mean, if it weren't for the lyrics, you wouldn't know the difference between this and sort of what folks might call traditional hip-hop. Only we're talking about, you know, uh, you know <laughs> tax planning and, and, and managing uh, uh, personal resources and avoiding bad debt and so on. Uh, but the music itself, I mean, it's live, you know, it's passive, it's, it's, it's good music. It just happens to be about, you know, personal finance matters. Okay. And why do you feel that it's effective, though? Have you seen any measurable results? Yeah. So uh, we get uh, uh, sort of feedback quite a bit from uh, the folks we uh, that buy our program. It's mostly... Uh, these days, mostly teachers and, and educational institutions who uh, 
have their own sort of curriculum, and they use our music. They use our music to get the kids engaged and to talk through the curriculum that they may already have. Now, some institutions use our written curriculum as well, but we don't. We don't really, you know, have a preference one way or another. If people buy our product and they buy the entire curriculum, the music plus the written curriculum, we're fine with that. Uh, but lately, most folks have just been buying the music. Uh, and, and, and working it in conjunction with, you know, an established written curriculum that their school or, or educational facility already has. So uh, when we talk about measurable results, we're just talking about feedback that I receive on, hey, this is a wonderful idea. Uh, you know, your students weren't interested until we set, until we played your CD. That type of uh, difference is what I'm getting. So it's difficult to measure. Go ahead. I was going to ask, um, what are some of the ways that schools uh, can implement your program? Do you have any ideas on that? Yeah, so what they do is uh, they, they, well, different schools use it differently, so it would be hard to say one blanket answer. So uh, the last sort of thing I did uh, was uh, a, a, a speaking engagement out in North Carolina where uh, where it's just a community uh, event. And uh, it, I can't remember who funded them, but they, uh, I think FINRA funded them. I can't remember exactly what that stands for. But they paid for me to come out and present the materials, and the entire community was there. It's Wilmington, North Carolina. And there was a line, literally, <laughs> after I performed and, and gave my presentation, and folks were just super engaged and, and, and telling me how they had planned to use the programs, uh, program in their life. So I think when we talk about effect, we talk about folks doing things they hadn't done before, right? So, uh, you know, budgeting uh, being the biggest and uh, planning for, you know, retirement if they're uh, 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 young folks planning for retirement, so it's just almost unheard of. And, and that sort of thing. So that's how I, I measure the effectiveness of, of what I do. So you've got a written curriculum. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, in addition to the written curriculum, you've got the uh, a musical piece to it. And uh, educators can choose to use both or whichever component that works best for their uh, student population. Exactly. So the flexibility and scalability of the program is, I think, what helps uh, make it successful. And the fact that, uh, to my knowledge, uh, you know, we are the only one in the country that is doing this. So you have this unique sort of, um, you know, it's just me. I mean, we're, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a rare blend of interest, right? So I have this sort of uh, ability to write this sort of, no kidding, solid music. Uh, uh, I teamed up with some very solid producers, and I have this interest in personal finance that's been ongoing for over 20 years. And so all that kind of combines to, to, to allow me to put out a product that is sort of uniquely me and not necessarily uh, uh, something that can be duplicated. And there's other sort of music sort of uh, ideas out there that sort of combine uh, 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 music with education to form edutainment, if you will. So we're not unique in that regard. We're certainly unique in terms of the quality of the product and the range of folks that, that use it and the range of folks who, um, who, who who tell us it's effective. So it could be anywhere from a middle schooler all the way up to a senior citizen that have used my product. And and I'm, I, I never sort of cease to be amazed at some of the feedback I get uh, from the public about it. Our guest today is Jenny Dees, founder of financialliteracymusic.com. I know that Initially, you received a grant from the Afford Foundation, and you've also recently been featured as a CNN Money Hero. Jenny, at this time, let's play a little snippet of your music I've got here that you uh, graciously shared with me. So hold on, and let's allow our audience to listen to your work. It couldn't be done. They said you can't use hip-hop to teach anything. But I love this stuff, and believe me, we're about to learn this stuff. Everyone should be financially literate. It doesn't have to be boring, so I make it entertaining. Yeah, I make it funky. You know why? Because I love this stuff. 
believe it, honey. Brings me great joy teaching you about money. If I can make it entertaining, I'll certainly do it. At the end of the day, I just want you to use it. Yes, I love the stuff. Believe it, honey. Brings me great joy teaching you about money. If I can make it entertaining, I'll certainly do it. At the end of the day, I just want you to use it. I love the stuff. I think it's fun to educate people about stocks and bonds and mutual funds, revocable trusts, corporate bonds, T bills, T notes, and such. It's state planning. A state building, a state creation, wealth management, wealth growth and preservation. Can you plan for the future or fail to plan? Do you minimize your tax or give it all to the man? Are you sure you know enough to purchase insurance? Is your portfolio limping or does it run with endurance? And what you know about them stocks reaching highs and lows? About them income statements and statements of cash flow? I know, cause I love it. I'm always thinking of it. First it was just a hobby, now I'm out in the public thing. I love this stuff. Believe it, honey. Brings me great joy teaching you about money. If I can make it entertaining, I'll certainly do it. At the end of the day, I just want you to use it. Yes, I love this stuff. Believe it, honey. Brings me great joy teaching you about money. If I can make it entertaining, I'll certainly do it. At the end of the day, I just want you to use it. Only your personal finance, buddy, and pal. And if y'all willing to learn, I can show you for pal. You might turn your stacks in the stacks is bigger and set up. Stacks are smaller. Y'all together, I figure we can conquer the world. At least a good a little chunk, and we can all get crumped of my finance bump. We'll jump debt on its neck, say goodbye to that credit, take every dollar and stretch it to its maximum limit. So you know it, you're doing well, saving up in the bank, showing people you can who said that you can't know it. Ain't nobody gonna stop your stride when sound financial principles are applied. And I done put in work, and I want you to know I have a passion for teaching people the basics of know. I got my bachelor's in business administration, cum laude, my master's in business administration, how about it? My financial planning education is. Don't stop, I'm bringing this knowledge to the nation through him hard cause I love this stuff. Believe it, honey. Brings me great joy teaching you about money. If I can make it entertaining, I'll certainly do it. At the end of the day, I just want you to use it. Yes, I love this stuff. Believe it, honey. Brings me great joy teaching you about money. If I can make it entertaining, I'll certainly do it. Okay, Johnny, that's an example. Tell us what we just heard. So that song, I Love This Stuff, was really the intro to the CD. And, and as you know, we have a, a double-disc CD that sort of talks about all the sort of five pillars of financial planning. So that song, I Love This Stuff, is really more about me and my passion for, you know, teaching, uh, you know, the basics of personal finance. The other songs, uh, so that song is more sort of entertainment value. The other right. songs actually get to the lessons, right, and, and where we talk about tax planning. And a hook of tax planning is, you know, uh, the hook to that song goes, earn in a higher bracket, pay in a lower bracket. That's a feasible tactic as far as paying your taxes. To put it in practice, it's a matter of mathematics. Track everything that you can subtract and subtract it, right? And so right. it's just about it's just about deducting and amortizing all sorts of sort of tactics to lower, lowering your taxes. And we have a song on, uh, you know, avoiding bad debt, right? Uh, uh, Let's talk about missing bad debt. That's one of your signature characters, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Bad Dad is a yeah, he's this mean old surly guy, right, who I have a lot of fun playing. And, and it's just this mean guy who, you know, is bad debt personified. And, and he talks about, in the song, he talks about, you know, making your credit score lower, lower and, you know, ruining your credit and, and making life just difficult for you. But even Mr. Bad Dad has a heart, right? And so in the end of that song, he'll come on and tell you, you know, how you can defeat him by, you know, you know, budgeting and using your money wisely. And uh, so I, have a lot, I always have a lot of fun with that when I'm out doing speaking engagements, uh, you know, put on my, my, my dark shades and my, my, my brim hat and, and get, get into it, especially if there's uh, kids in the audience. So that's a lot of fun. What message would you like to share with uh, the educators who are listening to our program this morning? What would you like to say to them? So I'd like them to all to sort of log on to financialliteracymusic.com uh, and uh, uh, just check us out, uh, listen to samples of all of our songs, uh, read up on the program, uh, and reach out to me, Johnny, at financialliteracymusic.com is the, is the uh, email address, and financialliteracymusic.com is the website. Well, Johnny, it's been a pleasure to have you on our, this edition of Community Comments. Wish you much success in the future, and thank you so much. Thank you, Calvin. It's a pleasure talking to you.